Are you interested in understanding how to standardize and normalize data in R for better analysis? In today's quick tutorial, we'll explore various methods of data normalization and see how they can impact your data analysis. So, let's dive in. To start, we're working with the MCARS dataset, a classic collection of car specifications. Our goal is to normalize these variables to facilitate more accurate comparisons. We begin by loading the necessary packages, car and dummy, and examining the structure and summary of the MCARS dataset. Next, we apply Z-score normalization to the MPG variable, transforming it into MPG underscore Z. This process scales the variable to have a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. We can also perform Z-score normalization on all variables, resulting in a fully normalized MCARS underscore Z dataset. Now, let's visualize the effects of our normalization methods. We create histograms and box plots for the original MPG variable and its normalized counterparts. Notice how the Z-score normalized data forms a bell-shaped curve, centered around zero. This method maintains the overall distribution while making comparisons easier. Moving on, we explore two other normalization methods, min-max and range normalization. With min-max normalization, we rescale the MPG variable to fit between 0 and 1. Similarly, range normalization scales the variable to fall within the range of 0 to 1. Visuals, screenshot of code and output related to decimal scaling. Now, let's delve into decimal scaling, a technique that simplifies large numbers by shifting their decimal point. We define a custom function for decimal scaling and apply it to the MPG variable. The same function can be used to scale all variables, resulting in a transformed cars underscore DS dataset. Lastly, we visualize the effects of decimal scaling, comparing histograms and box plots of the original MPG variable with the scaled version. And there you have it. We've explored four different data normalization techniques, Z-score, min-max, range, and decimal scaling. Each method offers unique benefits depending on the context of your analysis. Remember, normalization is a crucial step in preparing your data for analysis.